So now let's examine several important applications of sound waves. One application is known as sonar and the second application that we'll talk about is ultrasound medical imaging. So let's begin with sonar. Sonar is an acronym for sound navigation ranging and it's essentially used by boats, ships and submarines to help them navigate the oceans and seas. It's also used to explore different objects found beneath the surface of the water as well as explore the various parts of the earth. So, sonar is a pulse wave technique that uses sound waves to navigate ships and submarines and detect the depth of water. So, let's suppose we have the following ship. The ship contains a special instrument known as a transmitter that creates and emits a sound pulse. So, a pulse wave. Now, the pulse wave travels through the water, reflects off of some object, let's say the depth of or the bottom of the ocean, and eventually returns back to the ship. A detector found on the ship detects that reflected wave, and it's able to calculate the distance from the ship to the bottom of the ocean. So let's see how this happens by looking at the following example. Suppose a submarine sends out a wave pulse straight ahead and a reflected wave is detected by the submarine 15 seconds later. Assuming the water is seawater, calculate the distance of the obstacle ahead of the submarine. So we have the following submarine. The submarine creates a sound wave, creates a pulse wave that travels through the water. Eventually, if there's an obstacle ahead, some of that wave will reflect back and will return to the submarine and the submarine will be able to detect it. Now, if we know how long it takes our wave to travel there and back and if we know the velocity of the sound wave within the medium, we can use that to calculate the distance from the submarine to our obstacle. So we know that the velocity of sound inside seawater is 1,000 1,560 meters per second. So to calculate the total distance our wave travels from the submarine to the rock and back to the submarine, we take our velocity and multiply it by the total time elapsed. So 1,560 meters per second multiplied by 15 seconds gives us 23,400 meters is the distance from the submarine to the rock back to the submarine. Now to find the distance from the submarine to the rock, we simply take this value of 23,400 meters and divide it by 2 because we're looking for half the total distance and we get 1,700 meters is the distance between the nose of the submarine and our obstacle, the rock. So this is one way that the sonar technique can be used by submarines. So let's examine a second type of important technique that is used in medicine that utilizes sound waves. And this is known as ultrasound medical imaging. Now it's called ultrasound because that instrument emits frequencies that are very high. It emits sound waves that have very high frequencies. So ultrasound medical imaging is essentially a technique used in medicine that utilizes sound waves and reflection to help us study and detect various types of abnormalities found in the human body. For example, we can use ultrasound medical imaging to help us detect tumors and pockets of fluid found inside 
inside our body. Now, another application of ultrasound is to help us study the way that our organs function. For example, we can study the way that our heart is functioning. So how exactly does ultrasound medical imaging work? Well, let's suppose we want to use ultrasound to study the organs found beneath the abdominal wall. So beneath this area. So here we have our abdominal wall and we take an instrument called a transducer and the transducer creates an electrical pulse that is transformed into a sound wave that travels through the wall, through the abdominal wall, and into the fluid found inside our body. So that sound wave continues traveling onward until it hits an organ. So once it hits an organ, some of that sound wave reflects and travels back to our transducer, and the transducer picks that reflected wave up. Now, the rest of that wave continues traveling onward until it hits another section of the organ. So once it hits this section, some of that is reflected back and travels back to the transducer. And the rest of that wave continues traveling onward until it hits the last possible object. In this case, it's the spinal cord. So once our sound wave hits the sound, uh, hits the spinal cord, it reflects and travels back to this instrument. Once the transducer picks up all the sound waves, it creates a two dimensional image on a monitor or screen. And so in this way, we can see study the way that our organs function inside our body and we can also detect various types of abnormalities such as tumors and pockets of fluid found inside our body without actually having to have to open our body and examine the interior.